Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode. Thank you everyone so far who has supported the channel. As promised, we're back with another video where we'll discuss different methods to fix Outlook errors where it can't connect to the server this time. It's no secret that Outlook is one of the most popular email managers designed by Microsoft, but errors like Outlook not being able to connect to the server is often an issue where it makes it difficult for users to access their email accounts. When this error occurs, you won't be able to send or receive emails via Outlook, which can easily make things annoying. Fortunately, it's not one of those severe technical issues and you can actually easily fix it on your own. So let's quickly start with the troubleshooting methods to fix Outlook Outlook error cannot connect to your server. But before that, if you're new to this channel, then make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell as it really helps us out. Before starting with some of the more advanced solutions, let's start with something simple. In many cases, users encounter the said error due to incorrect account credentials and exchange server names. So let's start by verifying your account and make sure that you've entered the correct credentials. Go to Outlook on your PC, navigate to File, then select Account Settings, and then Account Settings again. You'll be prompted to the Settings window. Under the Email tab, choose the specific account and click Remove. Once your account has been removed successfully, go to the homepage again and log in with the correct account credentials. If you are already using the correct Outlook credentials, make sure that your account is not set to offline mode. When offline mode is enabled, you won't be able to connect to the Microsoft Exchange servers. As a result, you won't be able to send or receive emails via Outlook. So let's check how to disable offline mode in Outlook and fix the Outlook not connecting to the server error. Launch Outlook on your PC and tap Send and Receive tab. Click the Offline button to disable the offline mode. At this point, Outlook will automatically start connecting to the server. You'll also see a trying to connect message at the bottom of the screen. If the connection is successfully established, you'll be able to send and receive emails without facing any errors. If you still can't connect to the server, please make sure that your PC is connected to the network. Some people also face the Outlook server connectivity issues due to poor internet connections. Keep in mind that Outlook is an extensive service, which means that you must be connected to a stable internet connection to access your emails. To check if your internet connection is working fine or not, try loading different web pages on your browser. In case none of the web pages open or load at a slow speed, go ahead and restart your Wi-Fi router or contact your internet provider so that they can reset it on their end. In case you're still not able to connect to the server, there's a huge possibility that there's actually a technical issue with the server itself. Fortunately, the good news is that you can check the server status within Outlook itself. First of all, launch Outlook and then click File. Then go to Account Settings and then click Account Settings again. If there's a technical issue with the server, an orange icon will be displayed next to your account. When there's an issue with the Exchange server, you won't be able to do anything to fix the issue. In this case, you can simply wait and let the backend automatically repair the specific glitch or move forward onto our next solutions. If you're still encountering the Outlook can't connect to the server, it's quite possible that you're dealing with a damaged Outlook account. In this case, you can use Outlook's dedicated repair tool to diagnose the situation and establish a successful connection to the server. Let's see how to repair your Outlook account to fix the server connectivity issues. Go to the account settings by following the same steps as we've used earlier. Select the account that you want to fix and click repair. You'll be asked to enter your account credentials to continue further. So make sure that you enter the correct username and password. Then just click next and let Outlook automatically diagnose and fix the error. If you didn't know, third-party extensions or add-ons can trigger the Outlook can't connect to the server error. So if nothing works, try disabling the extensions one by one and you'll be able to find the culprit extension within a few minutes. 
First of all, launch Outlook and then click File. Then select Managed Add-ons. Then click on the Options section of each extension, which is displayed as three dots, and then click Remove. Do this for every extension. If a faulty extension was causing the connectivity error, you won't face it anymore. Data files are external files that are used to keep information about your Outlook account. These files are generally stored on a dedicated location on your PC, but you can also use these files to fix the issues with your server in Outlook by basically using Outlook to rebuild the data files. Open Outlook and go to the Advanced Settings window. Switch to the Data Files tab and select an email address. Now, click the Open File location and go to the destination where the data files are saved. Delete all the files and then reopen Outlook. At this point, Outlook will detect the missing data files and it will automatically start rebuilding the new ones from scratch. If none of the previous methods fix the issue, the only viable solution remains is to reinstall Outlook. However, before that, let's try to repair Microsoft Office Suite as this might troubleshoot the error. Here's how to repair Outlook using the official method. Open the run window on your PC and then enter this inside the search box. Then click OK. You'll be prompted to the application manager window. Here, look for MS Office or Microsoft 365 apps. Then click and select change. Choose one of the two repair modes and click repair. Wait for the repairing process to complete and try connecting Outlook to the Exchange server once again. In case you're still facing connectivity errors, go ahead and reinstall Outlook from scratch. And that's how to fix the Outlook cannot connect to server error for your Outlook account. If this video has helped you troubleshoot the error for your account, then make sure that you drop us a like and comment down below. Also, if you wanna see similar tutorials on this channel, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Honestly, it really helps us out. Anyway, look after yourselves and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.